Hello everyone, Neff here. And uh, just a quick video today, I just want to give you a quick update video. And um, the reason for this one is, you might notice I've now added first person, indeed. Yes, I actually put the player physics in recently, and they seem to work now, which is good. And it's cool because they work for not just the player, but they'll work for mobs as well. And they should cover all mobs, but I figure I'll probably have, you know, like more later on. Because most mobs, you know, are like kind of small, like one block or two blocks in size. But, um, like the player is two blocks high. But... I can imagine some mobs will be like massive things. I actually plan on having that happen. And they'll have special hitboxes because they work in special ways. Yeah. I won't spoil it, but just think, you know, like massive, massive thingies. Yes, it could be fun. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I mean, like, as I said, physics work. The camera's now basically just tied to the player. I can also no clip. I'm not going to right now, but I can. And so that's good. There's no sprint right now, but I mean, all I'd have to do is bind a key to, you know, like shift and like, you know, have it make your own faster. So it wouldn't be very hard. And yeah, but yeah. So I'm here on the medium render distance, and it's working out well. It looks so much better when you're actually at ground level running around, rather than, you know, flying around the place. And it's quite pretty. It's quite pretty. It's funny, because the terrain gen is not great, but it looks okay to me. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it works, which is cool. And actually, yeah, I can just no-clip if I press V here. And you see, I fly around like I did before. Which is nice. And if I go back... I go back. I mean, the physics right now are actually very basic. It's not even velocity, or it's, sorry. It's not actually momentum based. It's literally like Mario style, you know, jumping. Which seems wrong, but actually it works quite well. It's surprising how well this works in the game. Like if I go up here, it's the perfect height to jump up on the block, so it's quite nice. So, I mean, that might change, you know, obviously down the road, but for now, that's fine. And, um, I mean, like, that's actually like Minecraft Alpha level of uh, physics. <laughs> so it's quite nice. But as you can see, the collision works perfectly, which is nice. And yeah. So apart from that, um, a few people had questions in the last video. I kind of just wanted to address them. Um, first off, a guy called Charles actually gave a lot of useful info. He mentioned oak trees, which I might look into. They look interesting. Might not suit my purpose, and to be honest, I don't think it's necessary, but it's still interesting to see it. Basically, oak trees are kind of like a very... It's a way of storing a lot of data in very small amounts of data, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but it's handy for chunks. Um, yeah, he also mentioned Ben Arnold's game, which looks kind of cool. I might put a thing in the description. But um, again, it's another voxel type game, but it's quite impressive, the engine behind it. And yeah. And of course, somebody else also asked, um, what makes this like different from Minecraft? Yeah, I didn't really talk about it too much in the last video, but if you watch the old videos on this, I talk about it in a lot more detail. Um, I obviously haven't completely decided what the final version of this game will be, but um, I mean, like, the general goal is to have, like, you know, other planets and ships you can go between. But I mean, I might completely change my mind at some point and go, you know what, let's just make one really detailed world. Or I have another idea as well, which I might go to, but for now, I'm basically just looking to get a playable game as soon as possible. And what that means is basically, you know, kind of like make a Minecraft type survival type thing. And then from there on, I just add stuff that'll actually make it look different than Minecraft. So the problem is, until then, you won't actually see much of a difference, it'll just look like Minecraft Alpha. But you'll have to kind of trust me in this that there is a lot of differences. I mean, as I said, I mentioned other planets and spaceships and stuff, yes. That's all hopefully going to be part of it. And, I mean, aside from that, as I said, the world is infinite up and down, which is different, so I can put, like, tons of different layers of stuff down there. Um, so I can put, like, a hell world in this world, not have to have, like, a, another dimension and stuff. I can still do other dimensions, and I kind of have a cool idea to do, like, an alternate dimension where it's the same world gen, but just everything's different. So it'd be precisely the same, but like the trees are different trees and stuff, that'd be cool. And it's actually very simple to do with the code the way it is, because I just use the same seed, and it can be interesting. Yeah, yeah I kind of want to do the world gen, although it's, it's funny because right now it's kind of okay, and I hate having to redo it when it's like okay, but I feel like I could go for a more advanced kind of method of doing it. I want to improve the noise in general and just fix it. And so I can have like big mountains and stuff and that sort of thing. And I'm not doing biomes yet, biomes will come soon. Um, I mean, I'm like, biomes are, they could be easy, but if I want to do them properly, they're hard to implement. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I want to do them properly. And that could take a while. But yeah, and like, the physics obviously I'll tighten up. I mean, like, right now you can see, like, there's a bit of jitter and I want to jump. But it's only slight. I mean, like, at least they work fine. You could play it like this. And of course, you can still, you know, place blocks and everything works fine. I do need to put the hood, hood in so you have an actual crosshairs. It's still a bit awkward aiming with this. Um, but yeah. Aside from that, um, a lot of people asked about the textures, saying I'm going to fix the texture soon. I always get this question, but you guys have to keep in mind, these are just placeholders. Um, I just threw in anything I could just to make, you know, like something that looks like a world. Um, like this dirt texture annoys me, it's too dark and it's too repetitive. 
I really want to fix that. But I mean, that's that's down the road. Like, I mean, I want to make a playable game first, you know? I'm not overly worried about the damn textures, you know? I could always make it later on down the road so you can texture pack the game. Um, yeah. Oh, and of course, uh, one other question I got. Um, some guy said, if I added mobs, please not to add spiders. And I was so tempted to, like, do mobs first, add in a basic spider mob, and, like, just, like, have hundreds of them. <laughs> just to kind of, like, you know... But I thought, nah, that's that's too mean. So, um, I'm, I'm actually not sure what will work on next. I mean, this is all in now and seems to be working fine. I could do mobs next, but I feel like I should wait until I have other stuff in first. I mean, the stuff I'm thinking of, I obviously, the game still has no lighting engine. It really needs one. I, it's going to be awkward as hell, but it's one of those things I have to do at some point. So I might want to do that soon. And beyond that, I mean, it should be fairly fast the way it works. It's, it's going to be a pain to implement. But once that's in, and I have like a basic UI and the inventory system, then it's kind of a game, you know? I mean, I could generate ores now, it's just there's no point, because I'm not doing caves yet, <laughs> you know? That's why I also kind of want to redo the world gen. It's just, the cool thing about working on a game engine like this is there's so many things you could be doing at one time that if you get bored of doing one thing or sick of it, you can actually just move on to something else for a while. So that's why this kind of Minecraft type of game is so attractive to do. Because, I mean, if I was working on, I have an FPS engine I made. I didn't even mention that. I made an FPS engine. It's kind of like Doom. But with that, it's like you hit a wall and you just have to do the thing you're working on or nothing happens, you know? Whereas here, I can kind of like, you know, generate worlds, play around with them, add blocks if I felt like it and that sort of thing. So there's lots I can do, which is cool. But yeah, I think I've yammered off for too long. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. And as I said, I wanted to show you this because it didn't really look like much when I showed you the fly cam. But when you see this now actually running around and stuff, it makes more sense, you know? And it's cool. But um, yeah, I want to have the far render distance as well, which makes very little difference actually right now. Well, slight. I'm going to tweak those as time goes on. I still want to do more optimization, but for now it's it's alright. It's playable, you know, and at least, like, my machine's actually not that fast nowadays. And I'm doing this with fraps on and, like, Visual Studio and all running in the background in debug mode, so that's slowing it down a lot. But yeah. Also, I'm still not, like, uh, loading the chunks. I could be, I just haven't. But yeah. But yeah, guys, just a quick update. I think that's enough for now. And as I said, I'll keep making videos whenever I can. It won't be all the time, just when I have stuff to show off. So if you don't see me for three weeks, it just means I'm working on stuff. So don't worry, I'm not dead. But, um, but yeah, that's about it. And yeah. And good day!